the cheapest coins on FIFA 22, guys, check out MulePactory.com and use the code OwenFIFA at checkout for a discount. You can see we do loads of different coins and they even sell players and they do comfort trade, guys. It's 100% safe, all legit, everything like that. There's loads of different things. And they also, guys, if you do want other games, they do do other games as well. I mean, you can look through it. There's a link in the description, guys. Check it out down below. Hey guys, welcome to the with a brand new video. I'm going to be showing you guys today an insane little sniping filter. There's going to be gold rare, midfielder, Bundesliga and Bayern Munich. You look here at 5k of all the things you can get. So there's a few different guys, but you want to just put in here first of all 5k and just look at what you can get. So you can see, you can get yourself Sabitza, Muller, Nabry, Sane, Komen. There's quite a few others too. I think there's another one too. I'm trying to think who it is. I think Talisio, unless he's non rare this year, I can't remember. In all honesty, but there's loads of different guys you can get. Obviously, Sane is going to be the common theme. But if you go to like 4K, look, you'll see here of all the ones that you can realistically get, which is more likely to be Nabry, Komen. Obviously, Muller's a little bit out of the price range. Obviously, the chance of getting a Muller is going to be quite low. But you can see the lowest price of them here is around 5K, very 5.1. I think you have to get 5.2 though if you're patient. It's a 5.2 is an easy so I mean, maybe even 5.3. I mean. It's having a look here and there. 5-2 would be ideal. Um, so we'll go with 5-2 um, and hopefully that'll be pretty good. Um, so we'll go down to 4-6 and we'll just snipe. See if any do come up. I don't know how good this method is right now. I mean, it was good yesterday when I was doing it a little bit for the trading series. So hopefully it does um, continue to be good. Uh, we're just searching in now and hopefully going to try and grab a couple of deals or something at least pop up. Just to see it is pretty active. You can see here straight away 4.5 of Sane one straight away. It's not a massive profit. It's 400 coins. But if you got to think, guys, you keep doing this over and over again for the hour. It's a nice little profit. It's loads of extra coins throughout um, the day. Obviously, Sabitza and Abri could cheekily pop up and make yourself a nice little 5-6k a card. It just depends. It's all down to luck, as I say. There's no real like format with this. It, you could search for 20 minutes on your own and see nothing. Or you could search for, like what, 15 seconds and have a field day and get a couple of good deals. Like right now it is around 6 so it should be pretty good right now, it's a pretty good time to test it. I usually don't make these videos at the right time so this is actually one of the times where it should be pretty good. Um, with a bit of luck, I'm going to show you one more filter at the end of those bonus so keep around for that guys. Make sure you do stick in the video. Um, and hopefully you'll get to see that. And also check out yesterday's video. It was a new series. I did some bits of a 4-6. I've missed it because I'm awful. But you can see there, this guy's going for around 7k. I mean, probably 6.8. Which is really frustrating. 2k there just missed out on through being slow. Which is really annoying. But, um, yeah, we can deal with it. We'll get over it. Um, and hopefully there, we'll be able to continue on. And uh, make a little bit of extra coins. Um, God's sake, we've gone back. There we go. Um, search making again now, 4 6, of course. Hopefully, trying to grab one more. We're going to try and get another one for the end of the video. Um, and then go on to the second filter, which is another filter that I've learned that's very good. Um, it's not worthy of an own video, though. Like, there's no point in making a separate video on it because it's not amazing. But, like, with the two together it's a nice little bonus you know for you guys that are watching this if you are new though please do sub guys the videos have been doing really well lately and i'm so happy with it um so yeah i hope you can keep supporting and giving us some extra little views out there if you are new around here so thank you so much for that um but you can see like we've averaged so far like one a minute and a half which isn't bad at all on a sniping filter like people will lie and say you make like um 2k every hour i mean every minute and it's not gonna happen like especially on this, like you've got to understand like the realistic. Especially if you're on PS, you're probably having a party on this. Or you've seen eight or nine cards by now. But on Xbox, it's very different. The thing is, with Xbox, you do win them. Like you see, the first Sony, I was the first one to get it, which is really good. Um, you see here, look at five one five two again. You'll see you're sticking it around that price. If you just see, look at five two, how many do come up? It's a good way to judge normally how good the method is. So you can sit at this and then obviously get some bits as too, so it's your choice of how you do this. Like you can sit and search like this, and um, obviously every now and again one will pop up that won't be a deal. That's what you've got to look out for. Because obviously it might not be like I don't know, like it might just be a signing for 5k. It might be, I mean, a bit of, wow, <laughs> that was um, always planned it looked like, but um, yeah, you can see there, we're going to leave that now, I'm going to show you this final method, um, it's nothing incredible, but it's a nice little bit of profit, so you want to basically go left forward and then hunter, and if you just look here, there's not many left forwards on the game, gold rare of course, there's not many on the game, so it's not a sniper method, just want to check every now and again, you can see, look at the price of these, they're like 4k, the RB is the cheapest one, and on the right forward it should be a similar story. 
Um, it's even more, wow. So, I mean, all you want to do now is basically look. I mean, they obviously, this is going to be a deal. They're not the ones you want to look at. But you want to now go to, like, I don't know, 4K on here and search. Same across this side. See if anything is lurking. There's nothing really as such right now. But then what you want to do now is take out the gold rare and just see how much a standard hunter is going for. So you see the rares of 4K, you know that now. I mean, this guy, and there you go. You could buy this guy, list him. He's normally a left forward, but I could list him for 2.5K and he'll probably sell. Um, and then the right forward, it's still the same. Which means you can just sit here. I mean, look at it. Like, 4.5K is the only one. It's 7K even. Look, there's two players. Like, it's that good. So, it's definitely worth keeping an eye on. Even on, like, the right wing situation. I mean, even down at, like, 4K, it's not normally a bad story. There's not many up usually. He had just a few standard players. You can then go into here now. Look, go to Ferran Torres. And now you're going to know that Torres is there. So, now I'm going to check Ferran Torres and see what he's going for in a right wing hunter. Um... Ferran Torres, you're going to go to 6k, and you're going to see that he's the only one up, so you're going to buy that card now, and you're going to sell that on for a nice little bit of profit, probably 5.5k, something like that, and it's a nice little bit, probably 4.8 actually, just to undercut the other one. But there you go guys, thanks for watching, if you have enjoyed, please do drop a like, a sub as well if you knew, it would be really appreciated, and I will see you all very soon with a brand